quick disconnect. <laughs> oh my god, don't do that, stupid. <laughs> so it obviously works. <laughs> All right, so we've officially wrapped up with the winter 4x4 Jamboree. And for those of you who have been paying attention and noticed when I uploaded the schedule both to our Facebook group and to our website, lightbrightstudios.com, you might have noticed on that schedule between our Huracan Utah event and driving all the way down to San Diego, we had one more stop in Tucson, Arizona for a super secret install. So I'll give you one guess as to where we are right now. We're in Tucson, Arizona with Dan with Next Venture Motorsports, and he's going to tell us all about the awesome install that we're doing today. I am officially recording now. No, you're not. Yeah, 100% in. I'm using that footage. There you go, yeah. A cover shot. Oh, oh jelly, jelly bean. Jelly. So Dan with Next Venture Motorsports. Good morning, Kevin. Why are we here today? <laughs> Why are we at your shop here at Next Venture Motorsports? Hi, I'm Dan with Next Venture Motorsports. <laughs> this morning, we brought Kevin down to the shop, and Brittany, and Jelly, and the Michael, and the Michael, and the Michael, to install our onboard air prototype here. So we have one space under the Jeep. Your two liters won't have this, but because your battery's there. But we have one space under the Jeep that he wanted to fill up. And really, the reason for that is we don't want to fill up every available space, but there is no room under the hood for a compressor for the JL. Michael can attest to that. Found. He spent <laughs> days <laughs> trying to, he even has a bracket in his engine bay still that's <laughs> just sitting there because he So you can't put twin compressors under your hood. He has come up with a great way to mount two compressors and an air tank. Right, and this does have a heat shield on it, similar to what I imagine the Chrysler engineers did to sort of shield the battery on the two liters. Heat is kind of a concern under the vehicle. Water can be a concern under the vehicle. We took all of these things into account, which is why we really need to test this thing, torture test the thing. So you did, oh, so that's why you So why are you giving it right. to Kevin? Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> because he knows that we beat the ever living crap out of our right so he contacted us because he's seen some of our videos and he's like yeah these guys wheel yeah he goes, out he's like how do you, he's like how do you air up and air down your vehicle and i'm like ah this little pump and it takes forever and he goes i got something for you can you please beat the crap out of this and let me know that it works and i was like sure dan with next venture motorsports <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we have a via air twin 444 four, four C's. 444 four, four C's and a five gallon tank. Yes, sir. This is all sitting in your skid plate heat shield, and we're going to run the inlet ports up high, probably behind the tail light. So if we yeah, do so go into water. Two remote filter kits, and it's going to bring the inlet up to somewhere in this fuel area. Okay. Possibly. You design all this in, in your CAD system. You cut it here, yep. you weld it here. Everything's built here. Yep, I drew okay. this up in SolidWorks. We laser cut it here in shop. We've got a 140 ton press brake that all of this is formed on in-house as well. So this is all a prototype that could be built effectively in a day. So what do you have as far as the cutting machines go? It's a two and a half kilowatt fiber laser. It's a Trump with an F at the Trump? end. Trump, okay. Trump. <laughs> so a Trump. We have a Trump. A Trump. Trump F fiber laser. Fiber laser. Trump fiber laser. Fiber laser. So I can just send you CAD files for stuff and be like, here. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and this is made out of what? What's the steel? What's Three sixteenths inch mild steel for most of it. We've got a quarter inch top bracket here, and this actually separates out into two brackets. Right now, it's actually tucked up above where the gas tank skid sits. So we're not losing anything, right? You're not losing. We're anything. not losing any. We're not losing any clearance. What if somebody has something other than via airs already? So this is the pre-production unit. Okay. I figured with you guys airing up and down as often as you do, you probably want the fastest pumps available. Okay. These are probably not pumps that you'd want to run if you are doing water crossings all the time, but they are the fastest pumps that we can fit under the Jeep. But for the production units, this bottom plate is actually going to bolt in and we can swap that out for say an ARB twin pack or any other combination of tank. Even okay, so somebody wants a smaller tank. Batteries. Gotcha. Okay, so you might have heard Dan with Next Venture Motorsports mention this multiple <laughs> times, <laughs> but the word prototype. So this is a prototype. This is the first time one of these is being installed on a JL for the first time ever. So it is first time. 
first time. So we're not, this isn't going to be a step-by-step -step process of how to do this necessarily because we're going to have to figure it out. But I'm going to try to show you guys as much detail as I can though. possible. But yeah, his kit this, is full this will, bolt in. This will bolt right up into that area. You're not going to have to fabricate anything. This is going to go in. You do have to wire it and plumb it, but that's going to be with anything. That's the figuring that's the out part. part. Right. Yeah, that's the, that's fun, the fun part. That's the fun <laughs> part. But this whole system will just literally bolt right up and we'll show you that as long as you have a three six if you have a two liter yes as long as you have the v6 know. you will be fine if you have a v2 two liter unlimited four doors four doors yes, yes. the two door guys don't have much love yet from anybody you working on that man those four we love you two door guys We're we sorry. love you two door guys <laughs> you're, just missing a few doors. you're just missing two doors <laughs> but your breakover angle is fantastic yeah that's true <laughs> let's show them how it fits how easy it is to bolt in um and go from there yeah all right Okay, so now that we've got it in the air, first things first is lobbing off this little doodad right here, which I'm pretty sure serves zero purpose for our 3.6 liter because we've never used it for anything. It's so, not, yeah, it's for yeah, a 2 liter. I think it's for a 2 liter, so unless so. you plan on converting to a 2 liter from your 3.6, lobbing it off is okay. Or trimming yeah. it. Cutting it? Lobbing it? Yeah. Lopping it. <laughs> lopping it? Lobbed off. <laughs> so the way we're gonna get all of this under the Jeep is we're first gonna take this quarter inch bracket that sits at the very top. The tank right there. Yep, and this holds the tank in place later on. For now, we just wanna get this under the Jeep. Mock it up. You'll notice how that fits in beautifully with all those factory holes right there. So as you can see, after you've got that bolted right on into those stock holes, the tank mounts up to that, and then your main bracket with your compressors mounts underneath that as well. And it's super simple, it's all bolt-on, but before we do all of that, I think we're going to try to kind of mock up where we want all the plumbing to go. Conjunction with the Next Venture Motorsports setup, we will also be running a Strike Force Zebra air command system, which for those of you who aren't familiar, is basically an app-based system that allows you to air up and air down your tires with the click of a button on your phone. Super amazing. And they have two different systems you can use. You either have this box here, which is more of your competition base. It's dual intake, dual solenoid, and dual exhaust. And then you have your single one here, which is good for just about every other type of utilization that you can think of. In 99% of the cases, this is more than good enough, but since we have this one sitting here, we're gonna use this one. <laughs> and I'm gonna have my beautiful assistant Kevin come on in and show you a quick demonstration on how this works. Okay, so once you have everything plumbed, wired, hooked up, and good to go there, the operation of all of it's actually pretty simple. So you'll have four of these little lines so you can air up all four, air down all four at the same time. You're gonna have these bulkheads set by each tire. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna mount these bulkheads somewhere. We have brackets for them, but you're gonna mount them somewhere and you're gonna have air lines going to each wheel. When you're ready to use it, you'll simply pull out the plug. That keeps debris and everything from getting inside there. All you're gonna do is take your line, plug it in like that. See, it's locked in. You come over, you get your connector here, slide it on. This is literally all you have to do. Take off your valve cap, Snap this guy in. It's already airing down. It's literally just a matter of plugging in all four lines That's to it. the valve stems and then you're, hitting the button on the app to, you're already preset. Already preset. So you can have rocks, snow, sand, mud, anything you want, or just put in the pressure that you want. So once it's the pressure you set it at, you'll simply remove it. It's just a quick disconnect. And this is just a little push lock. All you're gonna do is push down this blue piece and that comes out. Then you'll insert your plug back so you don't get any debris in it. That's it. And you're good to and go. And you're good to go. I mean, I this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the boys have gone ahead and pre-assembled just about as much as I think they can pre-assemble before they bolt on at least the Next Venture Motorsports system. 
From there, we still have to wire to all the tires, or at least put the tubing to all the tires, and of course, wire up the Strike Force Zebra system as well. But I'm gonna let Kevin explain to you what he's got going on right here because, as I said multiple times, wiring and electrical anything is simply not my forte. Or mine, but. Despite the fact that I have a full air system set up on my Jetta, but I didn't install that Classy House Production did. Thanks, Ross. But. Okay, so what we did here is we have a, our pressure lines coming out of the two pumps pressurizing the tank right here. We have 90s coming off the back into 45s. So you can see here where they both run out of the way. Into the 444. Into the 444s. Compressors. Now on the compressor still, we have our intake tubes. So these are gonna be our remote intakes for our compressors. These are the tubes. This right here is because the exhaust runs right here. So this is a heat shield for the plastic for tube. For the tubing itself in right. addition to this heat shield that Dan's gone ahead and put on his assembly to make sure that the compressor stays as cool as possible as well. Correct, so they're both gonna be high up in the air out of the way. That's gonna be our intake system. So that's so that we can ideally submerge right. these this are, system these without are out having any issues. Right, they say these are not submersible pumps, We're gonna but put that the test. dunking them and letting them dry out, you just don't wanna be running them but we will have the intakes up out of the way. Now for our wiring, we have our pressure switch here. So here's our ground from our pressure switch and both the grounds from each of the pumps. So hook this directly to the frame. These are gonna come directly to the frame. Okay. Now we have our power wire from both the pumps and the power wire or the on switch for the actual pressure switch itself. So this is all gonna now run. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is all gonna run to oh the front. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna run some wires back and we'll have the relays and everything in line. So we'll have the two relays going to each of the... Sorry, I'm sighing because, again, this is why I'm having Kevin explain this and not me. All of this is just like, nope, nope. I don't want anything to do with any of it, nope. <laughs> all right, so real quick, we'll just do it this way. Three power wires, three ground wires. That's that simple. Okay, so that's that it. makes that was easy. Why didn't you just say that the first time? <laughs> And then we just have our little pressure relief valve. Psh, psh, psh. So if it ever reaches too high of pressure, this guy will pop off and not explode Rather the tank. Rather than the tank exploding All right. under our Jeep. And again, this is pre-production and the first time we have ever installed this on a Jeep ever. So we're kind of making sure and double slash triple checking everything before we bolt it up because we'd rather do this once. <laughs> yeah, so let's get this, uh, let's get this up. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Get it up. <laughs> he said, let's get it up. <laughs> and it is worth Love mentioning it. as well that rather than using Teflon tape, we use thread sealer on just about everything, which is technically in the instructions as well, but keep that in mind. All right, so at this point, all that's left is to wire the proper hoses to the proper tires and then wire everything else up. And that sounds simple enough, uh, but it's not. It's actually probably gonna be the longest part of this entire install. So let's go. <laughs> all right, so we have the wires for the compressors routed up into the engine bay, but before we officially connect them and put them exactly where we need to be. We're gonna test it first and make sure the compressors even work. Okay, so we've got them wired to auxiliary number three. Kevin, if you'll do the honors. Oh, yeah. Listen to that sound. Yeah, you know what that. that sounds like? My Jetta. Sounds like your crappy. My Jetta. Your crappy old. Your Jeep sounds jet, like a Jetta, Jetta, Kev. So we've got both compressors working at full force, airing up that five pound air tank. Yeah, so we don't have the Strike Force Zebra uh, set up done yet. So what I'm going to do is just hook up the airline directly to the tank and see if everything works. All right, quick disconnect. <laughs> oh my God, don't do that, stupid. <laughs> so it obviously works. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
lot of flow. That's awesome. Those are definitely going to fill up 38. And now you can blow. Oh my god, stop you it. Can blow off the inside of the Jeep. Oh, there's. Three pounds of sand in it? And sand hollow? Jelly Belly, you got your own seat? Oh goodness. Thank you for the kisses. It's okay, we're almost done. Okay? All right. So there you have so, it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we officially have onboard, onboard air. air ah, which is said it first. fantastic. Which means Five not tank, only twin pumps. can we air up all of our tires and use air tools and all those goodies. We can do it without lugging around. That, yeah, the, the portable the one, air compressor. The portable air compressor up. that we had before. This is right. fan freaking tastic. And at this point, it's late. <laughs> so, but we have a fully working air system. Almost. Kevin and Michael and Dan with, with Next, Next Venture, Venture Motorsports, Motorsports. <laughs> <laughs> are going to go ahead and finish wrapping up, buttoning everything up, making sure all the wiring is tucked up tight, exactly where it needs to be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However, it is getting late, which means we are not going to finish putting on the Strike Force Zebra Air Command tonight. It'll which be too late. It'll be like midnight or one o'clock in the morning. So I'm not willing to start... work that late because I still have to edit this video right now to upload it tonight for you guys, which means you're going to have to wait until the next video to see all the other stuff. And this is going to be fantastic. I am super excited about it, but Shh, don't stop talking. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Gonna... <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the strike force zebra tomorrow. Right now, everybody's just buttoning up the wiring, finishing everything that. that, and then I already that's said it. all that. So that's where we're He's at. He's telling me to hush so he can repeat everything that I just no. said. Yeah, but I said it in less words. Hey, just so you know, everybody's uh, <laughs> wiring, okay? You're right. <laughs> but everything works. Anyways, you guys. So thanks for thank watching. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget <laughs> oh, to like, subscribe, and, and share. share. And, and we'll we will see, see you next, next time. time. Bye. Mwah. Say bye, Dan. With Say next bye, Dan. Motor with Next Sport. Venture Motorsport. <laughs>